Last time we saw how we can work with side effects in rematch. Today we're going to add a second model for those notifications and see how we can interact between the models. We're going to start by creating a new toast.ts file for toast model. We already know everything we need uh, about the model, so let's just quickly create one. I'm going to create a new model variable and export it at the end of the file. Our model is going to hold an array of Toast notifications visible on a screen. So the initial state is going to be an empty array. We also want to help TypeScript know what type of data we have in this array. So I'm going to define a new local state type, which is going to be a read-only array. And I'm also going to need to import from common types our uh, toasts type. And the state is going to be a read-only array of toasts. Now we just need to annotate it over here. Now what we want to achieve here is to be able to trigger a toast notification that will disappear after two seconds. We can achieve that by first adding a new toast into our state, then waiting for two seconds and finally removing the toast from the state. So for that, we'll need to define two reducer functions, one for adding and one for removing toasts. First, we're going to add a reducer function that is going to take the current state and the toast item, and it will simply prepend this toast item to our existing state. The second reducer function is going to take the current state and the toast item to be removed, and then we'll simply filter out that toast item. To finish the model, we're going to add a new effect for adding toast notifications. So I'm going to create an effects function with the already familiar signature. And inside the effects object, we're going to create a new effect called add, which will accept any one argument called message, which will be of type string. And remember that much like reducers, effects require payload to be passed as a single argument. So first we're going to create a new toast notification using the message that we got in the payload for the effect and we'll generate a random ID for it. After that, we can call our added reducer function on toasts model and pass it the toast that we've just created. Then we're going to wait for two seconds and for that I'm going to create a new promise that will resolve after two seconds. And we also need to make sure to mark our effect as async. Finally, we're going to call our second reducer function called removed, and we're going to pass the same toast object again. Now we just need to open our global store config file and import our toasts model from toasts and add it to all models. Now if we switch to the browser and check the Red Axe DevTools, we're going to see that our global state now has a second property called toasts. Now let's create a connected toast component. So I'm going to create a new toasts folder in containers folder and an index file for our component. So first we're going to import connect methods from React Redux package. We're also going to need to import toast list component from components toast list. Now, if we look at the toast list component, it expects a single property, which is read only array of toasts. 
So what we can do is we can create a new map props function that is going to take the root state, which is of type root state, and we're going to return an object with a single property called toasts, which will map from state toasts. Now we just need to export a connected version of our toast list component, and then we can switch to app.tsx file and import it here. Now we just need to replace unconnected toast list component with the connected toast component. Finally, we want to trigger a toast notification whenever we click on follow user button. To achieve that, we're going to create a new effect on our user's model called toggle follow. It makes sense to have it as an effect since it will be calling a reducer function on toast's model, which is external to our user's model. The effect is going to be very simple. First, we're going to call follow toggled reducer function on our user model passing it a user, which we also need to define here in the payload to our effect. And after that, we're going to call add reducer function on our toast model, and we're going to pass it a string. Now we just need to open our users component and make sure that instead of follow toggled reducer function, we use our toggle follow effect. So I'm going to rename it here, here, and here. So now if we save the changes and switch to the browser, we can click on a follow button next to users. And as you can see, it also triggers a toast notification. In the next part, we're going to see how we can interact with underlying Redux instance and we'll connect a third-party library that was built for Redux.